did you do my animals do with Bruce? It's do ma, damn it. And where on my door does it say crazy murderous women are free to enter? I know you were behind this. <laughs> so you're going to tell me you want them to be together now? Man, as soon as he admits he can live without her, he's free. You're a fucking animal. I'm calling the police. Oh, that, that's a good idea, Miriam. You go ahead and do that, okay? You know, of course, I'm gonna deny everything. Oh, and by the way, thank your friend Gustavo for me. You know, without him, we wouldn't have been able to find anything. There's something about that woman and not just the way she walks. I love you, Miriam Wayne. What was that all about, Uncle Theo? The Waynes and the Dumas. We should never be civil. 
Sometimes it's better when it's rough, though. Did she say you had something to do with Bruce disappearing? The Waynes are all insane. No, Bruce isn't. Bruce is a gentle soul. All Waynes are trouble. Oh, maybe he's fishing. Didn't you say he enjoyed fishing? Everyone enjoys fishing. And Bruce isn't fishing. He only visits one pond. Well, like, maybe he wanted to try out a different pole or something. Those rumors are not true. Bruce and Dick are just friends. What in the hell are you two talking about? Gustavo, do you know what happened to Bruce? No, Miriam. I'm getting worried. Funny. I asked Mr. Fox to give me the call logs from your office. There was one to Prestige Worldwide. That's a Duma business. Mr. Gallivan asked me to call his niece. Get out! You betrayed this family, me, everything I thought we had. Don't be silly, Miriam. As soon as he forget her, they let him go. It's best for the Waynes, too. I was 19 when I was given responsibility for Bruce. To protect him because those Duma animals had Tommy and Martha killed. And now you go and just hand him over? Get out. Get out before shit gets really, really violent. I'm not going anywhere, Median. I am the man, you are the woman. The do as you're told. Oh, hell no. You had your chance. No one raises a hand to me. Oh, I can't go to the Oh, my God! Miriam! Are you okay? Gustavo worked with the Duma to get rid of Bruce and Dick. Uh, he was a very smart man. I mean, <laughs> anyone to cross you, he needs to be a fool. We need to find Bruce. Yeah, I'll, I'll check with all the corn dog vendors. And Fresh Forge too, but... If he isn't there, we may never find him. You're in luck? I've decided to let you go today. If you forget about her. <laughs> Look. She's too good for you. Look at yourself. You're a monster. She's a beautiful woman. Let her go. Fuck off! <laughs> she told us where we could find you. She doesn't really love you. She played you for a fool. As a matter of fact, she gave me this very interesting letter. It's addressed to you, actually. Shall I read it? Mm -hmm. it Shall we? Dear Bruce, I hate you. You're a monster. No one will ever love you that isn't forced to. Your Aunt Miriam is the only person that cares about you, and she is required to by law. Mm -hmm. Having sex with you is disgusting. You're the most ugly person on the face of the earth. I told these two how to get you. Now you are their prisoner. When you are declared dead, I will file a lawsuit saying we were living as a couple so I should inherit all of the Wayne fortune. I will kick out Aunt Miriam and the drug addict. No one could ever love you and no one will ever love you. When people seek love, they seek someone attractive, not a disgusting monster like you. It was so easy to fool you. You are fat, ugly, and stupid. Now deal with the stupid part. 
There will be no more wanes. Your failure to create a legacy is complete. The Duma and the Wings can never be civil. I hope you rot in that place. Forget that I exist, and they might let you go. Burn in hell, you fat fuck. In utter contempt. Silver St. Cloud, house of Duma. You fucking idiots have been sniffing glue. <laughs> Silver would never betray me or write that letter. It's probably your uncle. Pig fucker Theo Gal. Tell me! <laughs> what have you got? Oh. <laughs> Bruce, Bruce, Bruce. You are an idiot. Hey! Give me that! Give me! I'm talking to you! Bruce! You are an idiot. Of all the women of all the world, you could have any. You're a beautiful man. Instead, you go for her. All you have to do is forget her. No. You see, you fuckers wouldn't understand. But she doesn't want anything from me. She just wants me to be me! Oh. Do you want to understand what love is. I love her! Love is a lie. Made up by greeting card companies and dime store numbers. I can have love anytime I want, and then it'll leave me and I'm free. I pity you. You and these sad fucks that are here. <laughs> You have no idea what love is after life. So nice. But you see, love is what got you here. And you know what? We're never going to let you go. Mm -hmm. Not unless you do one simple thing. Forget about it. Never! <sighs> I'll escape. I'll fucking escape. And then I'm gonna rain down on you like a fucking trailer park in Oklahoma right before it twisted. I can't wait! You will die in here then. Hmm? Ain't love grand. <laughs> yeah, it is. But I wouldn't expect you cruel motherfuckers to understand that. Boss, I love you. Shut up. I really do. Shut up! Hey! Go ahead. You know, I was down with capturing and beating fat bats since, you know, it was in our interests, but this just seems kind of cruel. Gallivan wrote that letter. I never read it until now. I actually considered letting him go. Bobby Sue, is this really worth the money? We should let him go. No. No, we need the money. But, Gallivan, we're not going to have any more letters from Gallivan. What a colossal prick. Yeah. <sighs> what do you want? What, more beatings? Fine, whatever. Just do me a favor. This time, make sure the blindfold's secure, call me Bubbles, and don't pull out the beads so damn fast this time. Ew. Gross. That's disgusting. But you're free. And I never want to see your face ever again. 
Is Bruce coming with me? Think of this as a chance to make a name for yourself. No, 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 no. It's not gonna work. I'm not leaving here without Bruce. Forget Bruce exists, or you die. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, you make an excellent point there. Uh, <laughs> screw it, he was holding me back anyway. So, uh, when are you gonna let him go? As soon as he stops loving her. <laughs> yeah, good luck with that. <laughs> Bruce is a very deeply compassionate and a really stubborn man. <laughs> You're not gonna break him. You're gonna have to kill him. Just wait. He'll soon see love as a lie. Really? He may be a dork. He may be a cornball. In fact, I suspect he's even a little bit crazy. <laughs> but he believes in a lot more than what he can extort or steal. We will be back. Really? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Clearly, you've never met Miriam Wayne. <laughs> oh! oh, yeah! Oh, 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 yeah! Her! Oh, come on! Let's see, Mrs. Mammon! Oh, oh, yeah! Twist the nipple! Twist the nipple! Oh, oh, okay! Oh, yes! Fiends will never win. You should have been killed with the fat bat. Hey, words hurt. But anyway, you should know that he's not dead. Join us and live. Why fight crime when you can have true power? See where fighting progress has gotten you? Well, what's your benefit package like? Uh, well, 401k, comprehensive dental, but no vision. Kill him. He's with me now. I shall call him Cain. What have I done? You are fulfilling your destiny. Become my apprentice. Learn to use the dark side of the Force. Well, I'll do anything that you ask, but this whole Force thing sounds derivative, and I'm not going to do any weird sexual favors. Uh, well, you, you know, it's a parody. Uh, all things might happen. Just help me save Selena's life. I can't live without her, and I'm not going to let her die. I want the power to stop death. The power to over death has only been attained by one. But I believe together you and I can discover its secrets. Once, once again, that sounds vaguely sexual. Well, you know, do what we have to. Yes, yes, this is perfect. I pledge myself to your teachings, to the ways of a criminal. Good, good. The force is strong in this one. You shall become a powerful criminal. Henceforth, you shall be known as Cain, the first murderer. Thank you, my master. Rise, my friend. Tell me, who's the fat bat? Does it matter? As you said, he's dead. Where shall we rob first? A bank? A jeweler? Patience, my friend. All things in time. Forgive me, Bruce. I can't do this What alone. was that? Well, Fat Bat is Bruce Wayne. I told you. How many morbidly obese, Kyle McGraw specialists do you know in this city? No, I, I, I didn't say Bruce. I, I said Juice. Juice. Juice Newton. That, that's my girlfriend. Juice Newton? Selena Kyle, you certainly get around. Hey, don't hate the player. Hate the game. True that.
General Zod, once trusted by his council, charged with maintaining the defenses of the planet Krypton itself. The chief architect of this intended resolution, the author of this insidious plot to establish a new order amongst us, to embrace the ancient ways of the people of Krypton, for us to ignore the reality of our existence. You know, if I have said it once, I have said it a thousand times. Call me Zadi. Don't judge me because I am different. This planet is doomed unless you can accept all of us. What happens in Argo City stays in Argo City. Yes, my lord. Preach to our great cause. Mm -hmm. Me like dolphins. General, your thoughts are nearly as dangerous as windmills. Rear, rear, rear. They say it causes cancer. Can you imagine that? Windmill cancer? Can we get back to reality here? We have the matter of the people versus Zod, Versa, and Nod. I was told that Biden had to stay 250 feet away from me at all times. Hush your mouth, woman. Can't you see the men are talking here? <laughs> Why do you follow this fool? There must be a better way. Hmm. What you are proposing is dangerous to our society. If you were a child, I would have you separated from your parents, and at a minimum, you would be expelled to the Phantom Zone. It's scary, don't you know? People want to feel safe, not being afraid of people talking about their lifestyle. It's Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve. I made it through the 70s. I've experienced things. We all must vote. Are the defendants guilty? What the hell is that? An ancient symbol. It stands for hope on our world. Hope starts with an age, stupid. I think we're in trouble if our only defense is an ancient symbol or logic. Let's vote now. Exile. My dog loves Skippy, especially late at night. Disgusting. Dogs don't bark. Isn't that a net? with a cello instead? Maybe we can get Frankie Avalon and have a good old beach blanket party. Vote, Anita, before the big mouse comes out here and kills us all. Exile to City of Golden Gates. I love the colorful clothes she wears and the way the sunlight plays upon her hair. Come on, Joe. Damn it, Joe. What's your ruling? This singing and dancing has me feeling like the summer of 67. I'm damn near ready to apply for a draft deferment. I join in, but my spurs are acting up. <laughs> <laughs> Getting drafted is for the poor, or losers, as I call them. What's your ruling, Joe? I just want to give you a hug. Oh, for God's sake, Joe, make a decision. Cool. I have been rehabbed. I no longer have those feelings. I am afraid to hug my wife with the press on this planet. Biden votes to exile. Now the final vote from Jarrell, a lead scientist. It's just sex, you old fuddy daddies. There's one thing me and Zadi agree on. This planet is doomed. Exile Jor-El too. So it is done. See what you did, you bitch. I've got to get home. I've got to see my wife and infant child. Vote on Zad. Exile. <laughs> okay, let's go. That's the second time I suck some Zad today. <clears throat> now. The question that we all have on our minds, Jarrell. You have a wife and a son? Of course I do. Her name is Lara and she just looks fabulous in designer pieces. At least the ones that I design. <laughs> and Kal-El is my boy. He's just super. Oh, yeah, my son, he's the best. Uh, uh, Baron or Byron or whatever his name is. Uh, and my wife, Melania, very beautiful. The best wife money could buy. Back to the point, 
Jorel. Go home to your wife and child, then return here so we can make a decision on your fate. It's not my fate that's important. It's the fate of this planet. This planet is doomed. We only have but minutes left. And what do you base that decision on? Science. I know the best science. I use the best words. I'm a very stable genius. This makes me feel uncomfortable. Like I feel when I'm around lady golfers or my good friend Annette. Let's build a wall. A great wall. The best wall. We're gonna build a wall that will protect the planet from exploding. Not this time, Orange Thanos. I've got to go to my apartment. Well, hello, honey pot. How was your last day? Where have you been? I've been at the council. Well, you were hanging out with those losers. You know they're just using you and you're not smart enough to know it? The council are buffoons. But this planet is doomed and we've got to prepare Kal-El for his journey to Earth. Earth? Isn't there a better option? Or one with fewer tanning salons? Their yellow sun will give him certain advantages over the humans. He'll be super. Yeah, but at the same time, with Iron Man dead, the next Marvel movie will really be a disappointment. Well, I thought with new characters like Captain Marvel and Black Panther that they were setting up the franchise for future success. Film audiences don't want to be challenged. Look at Logan, by far the best Marvel movie. And all the audience said was, Oh, it's too dark! <clears throat> to hell with them! They want big explosions and fast cars. Story is the victim. Lara, time is short. We need to prepare the vessel. Kal-El, we put our DNA in this vessel for you. It contains the past, the present, and the future of Krypton. We give this to you and to you alone. I thought Corel was launching his daughter too. Well, he is, but as a woman on Earth, she'll only have 77% of the power that Kal-El does. That's earning power, dummy. Well, Miss Lawrence, she doesn't to live Earth, in Alabama. To Earth, we send you, Kal-El. I warn you, stay out of that place known as St. Louis. That place is a hive of scum and villainy. The only place worse is Battle Creek on a Saturday night. Be tough, my little guy. Always remember your mommy and me. Be true to yourself and you'll always be happy. Remember to fight for truth and justice, and you'll always be fabulous. Why didn't you build a spaceship for three? Oh, I'm not going to live another day with your nagging. I should have married Ursa. I should have married Zod. Don't you think Nod's more your type? <laughs> well, Nod's fun for a Saturday night, but you know, the whole village has been with him. What's your number? I, I'll send you a dick pic. Come on, you know you want me. I'm like every woman's dream. Hey, hey. Come on, hotness. Let's get out of here. You're a loser, and if I ever see you again, you're dead. Well, I hate to see you leave, but uh, I'd love to watch you walk away. Hold 
down the hall. <laughs> he's sweating. He's watching me. Let me kill him. I can just try and go No! Give me this. <sighs> <laughs> Damn, you are the <laughs> Yes, you are. You know, I almost feel bad. Almost. No. Mimsy, take him out and beat him for a while. Sure thing, boss. Come on, let's go. Come on. <laughs> about her. so tough now, are you? Man, I must be the most famous criminal ever. I've caught the bad. <laughs> what is it, huh? You're nothing. <laughs> One day I'll be free. You can't kill hope. Not even with the Republican majority? <laughs> I've always had. Why don't you just kill the bad guys? It would make your life so much easier. <laughs> I'm not Zack Snyder. That's just poor storytelling. Mm, you know, when you kill a killer, the number of murderers in the world hasn't changed. Neither does the number of delusional vigilantes. <laughs> Sneak around. Your love sound isn't coming for you. I will sleep well. One day I'll be free. But when I capture you, you'll be alive. <laughs> that way you can suffer even more. You know, you have a lot of anger in you. <laughs> you know, you should talk to my sister. She's quite the therapist. Oh, Deandra. Deandra Quinzel. Don't think for a second I don't know who you are. When I'm free, it's so much easier to find you. Yes, we will. Oh, Deandra, from darkness can only light rise. Damn, you are <laughs> beautiful. <laughs> I could fall in love with you pretty easy. <laughs> you know, maybe we should go on a date, see how it works before I pick up my wedding dress. Of course, of Well, look, let's talk about me. All right, my name's Don Jacobs, most likely known as the king of the Idaho russet. But look, in the past few years, I found something better to grow than potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> Well, am I fooling you? Do you fall for it? You always seem to say you're right through. Because.
this her masseuse, this this dude named uh, Rodrigo, is hung like a Clydesdale, and and enlightenment comes again, and and again, man, and, and again, and you know, I, I I don't know what to do, man. I'm 55, man. <laughs> you know what, Don? It's not gonna work. I just realized he would never leave me. He loves me. And I love him. Who, Rodrigo? No! Bruce Wayne! Wait, wait, I thought he was dead. No, don't ever say that. I'm sorry, I I've gotta go, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah. His name is Bruce Wayne, and he's been missing for 12 years. I just, I know he's being held against as well. I used to be a Gotham cat, I remember. Do you have any leads? Yes, yes I do. Uh, he, he can't make it through a week without uh, corn dogs and hairless clams. And he's also a huge fan of Huey Lewis and the News, The Cure, and Millie Vanilli. Uh, and you're sure you want me to find him? Yes! I'm sure. Bruce is special. There was this one time he heard that I liked poutine with faux moose gravy and craft dinner. And he drove all the way to Ottawa just to find the place that makes it the best. Yeah, you, uh, you sound perfect for each other. Yeah, thank you. Mr. Jablomi Hayward. Dickhead! Guard! Anybody! Need some help? Chance. That stupid guard doesn't know I took his phone. <laughs> Journal, you saved me again. Wayne Manor, maybe Aunt Miriam. She'll help. Oh, this is Bruce. Bruce? Uh, we, we ain't seen him since, I don't know, like 1992 or something. No, Alfred, pay attention. This is Bruce. I've been held here for like 17 years. I really need you to trace this call. You ain't got my age. I am not interested. Oh, stupid label. Seriously? Damn it, Alfred. You gotta get your shit together. Dumas Mansion. Maybe so Silver. Please be home. Hello? Silver. Silver! This is Bruce! My heart is racing so fast. Where are you? I don't know. I'm assuming St. Mary's County, Maryland, because all these rednecks keep arguing over the best price for crab bait. But I haven't seen a single inbred in about two weeks, so who knows? Bruce, I love you. I love you so much. Please, come find me. Bruce, I, I will, Bruce. Bruce! Bruce! Talk to me! No, uh, no, 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 no. Prisoners are not allowed to have phones. How did you get this anyhow? Your dick is going to be very upset. I care what that bitch wants. Silver, I know I'm not alone. I know you will find me. Shoe la petite floor. Bruce, you are not alone. I swear I will find you. I love you, Bee Bear.
Is where he is. St. Mary's County, Maryland. But you be, you be careful down there. Them smibs is everywhere. I'm sending my cat Veritas to break him out. Your cat. I mean, the FBI works too, but yeah. House cat, send a house cat. That's a, that's a plan. House Thank cats, you, uh... Mr. Jablomi, but I've got this handled. Bruce and I have our own way. Oh, yeah, just, you know, give me a... What's that? Oh. Oh. Mistress Naomi, that feels good. Oh, what? What? Oh. Hey, kitty. What? Where is your cat? Kitty. Is that real? Just a little bit. Here. Here you made a serious mistake. Not as serious as one you've made, pig fucker. <laughs> You've had enough. Today you die. Deander left you to us. And that's most unfortunate for you.
Years of captivity has come to your strength. The darkness has defeated you. 20 years ago, you submitted me into the darkness. I became the darkness. <laughs> you were merely walking blind. This is creepy, man. I'm afraid. You should be. Oh, screw this. Go back to Clown College. Start a rear career. Run away! This is your last chance! Don't look coming back! The bat escaped. Uh, Harley's sister is so incompetent. But come to Gotham. We can train you to be a proper clown. <laughs> oh, nice kitty. Silver, I'm coming home. The petite floor, the light has risen from the darkness. I know I look like a reject from the Soggy Bottom Boys, but I can go to a barber. I am a man. Oh, Keep scheduling meetings to fire me. I think I'm gonna go later today. But I'm doing it on one condition. And what's that? That you take my place. I've only been on the force six years. The police force is so crooked. Rebecca Dent's becoming the new DA. If anybody can clean up Gotham City, it's you. It'll be good for the city. But one thing, we need to find the bat. It wasn't the crime fighting that set, it, set the precedence. It was the message that he sent, by standing up for something. I don't understand. I was 12 when he disappeared. He upgraded the crime fighting, and so the criminals upgraded too. Now we have all of these super villains and no counterbalance. It's like we're foreshadowing. Fat yeah. Bat, Gotham, Gotham, Gotham needs you. you. But one, one piece of advice. Lose, Lose a few pounds. pounds. You, you might, might run, run faster. faster. Commissioner. The squatch hit First National of Gotham, G-Spot Jewelers, and Aikman. Good work. Send the strike team. Figure out where the squatch is calling home. Okay, Commissioner. Who's the skirt? Your worst nightmare, Becky. What does any of this have to do with a shoemaker directing Arnold again, or even a handsome comeback tour? I'll mbop you right in the face. Get your low life ass out of here. And while you're at it, get the squatch. But I don't care how you do it. You benefit from my tactics and now you're sneering my methods? You belong to charge. Nice speech. Get the hell out of here. Gordon, I've got your memo and I accept your resignation. Makes it easier on me. And of course I agree with making your daughter commissioner. She is one of the few on the police force not in Corleone's pocket. Fat Bat's the city's one true hope. The Bat is gone. He's not coming back. He's probably dead. We need to take out Lasquatch and his clown-painted friends. Mayor, while I agree with you, we do need all the help we can get. The Bat is gone. Let's move on. No thanks, Dan. I don't know how you drink that as well. Just received this as a gift with a new set of glasses. It came from a Mr. J. Oker. I'll scan with a message. Have you ever danced with the devil in the pale of the light? Joker! Vicky, why did you knock that out of my hand? You knocked it out of my hand like somebody may have tainted those glasses in the hopes that I would drink from them without washing them first, thereby poisoning me. Jay, Ogre, Joker, get 
it? I feel really This is the only way that we could uh, seclude Mr. Uh, Lasquatch here for an uh, interview. Um, I'm Harry Queen, and uh, you're watching The Harry Queen Show. Uh, we have with us a Mr. Uh, Lasquatch. Uh, Mr. Lasquatch, uh, tell us uh, a little bit about uh, the drug dealings in, uh, in Gotham City. What is drug dealing? In Oshkosh, it is drug dealing. In 2013, it's called surviving. Am I a criminal? Do I rob banks? Do I sell more meth than all the residents of a trailer park? Of course I do. But that's really the point of who I am. I was born a Sasquatch. It took a life to make me a criminal and a necrophiliac. Well, sex with the dead, that's not so bad. And it's not a crime. <laughs> you don't believe me? Just ask my third wife. Tell us a little bit more about uh, Mr. Sasquatch's life. The details of my life are quite inconsequential. I was raised north of Montreal by an insanely paranoid father and an impeccably dressed mother. Daily I would have to recite the Canadian National Anthem, while naked of course, and it is there that I grew to despise one animal more than the rest, the treacherous bat. A bat? That's certainly a harmless animal. Uh, now does this go back to the early days of the fat bat of the, of the 1990s? Bats are gross. They have diseases. They carry rabies, HPV, feline HIV, trichodecophobia, and in some cases, cancipulates. Uh, Monsieur Sasquatch, uh, the question is, is, is the world a better place, uh, better off without the presence of the fat bat? Please, my friend, just call me Lesquatch. But the question is pointless. The fat bat hasn't been seen in 20 years since the villainous dickhead abducted him. To the best of our knowledge, he's dead. Well, to the best of our knowledge, uh, he hasn't been seen since uh, the glory, magical days of Millie Vanilli. Uh, that's when we had a, a Bush in the White House and an Al Gore in the Senate. I am just responding to the will of the people. I'm a businessman. That's what I told myself many years ago. Uh, before I realized 17 looks 25. I thought we were here to talk about m me, not your sexual proclivities. Uh, excuse me. Uh, uh, ladies and gentlemen, we have breaking news here from Gotham City. The body of billionaire douche Wayne uh, has been located and he's being rushed to the hospital. For those with a bad memory, Mr. Wayne disappeared at uh, the same time as the fat bat. Hmm, coincidence. But there is no coincidence. Because Mr. Wayne supposedly only wore a mask while attending the Eyes Wide Shut party. Whatever happened to standard and practices here? Go see the new Twilight film. Uh, that movie has such an exploration of sexual activities among vampires. Oh, Joe Rivers, what they say? Happy 232nd birthday, Joe. We love you and uh, we wish you a wonderful birthday. Raise your hands in the air! And, you know, you want to do this.
inside.